Hello and welcome back to the Garion Tabletop. I am Garion Raver and I am back in Night of the Full Moon. I'm taking a crack at the Red Hood Diaries adventure and trying to beat what is called the Curse Purification Run, I believe. Just gonna ignore the one I was in the middle of. Uh, this uses these three abilities. So it uses the uh, the Vampire Lord, which does nothing. It's a blessing that does nothing. The Queen of Viper, which is a card that does nothing. And the Black Swan Blessing, which hurts you over time. And for the Mage, there are th the three sort of powerful cards. The one I'm going to go for is the one that's... Um, uh, every time chilling is applied, deal damage equal to... Like, for, for the number of cost cards you have. So, I need high cost mana cards. So I'm gonna have to restart this because those are not good enough. And I think for this run, like the... Because I, I did manage to do... Oh no, I failed it. <laughs> I did try to do a ranger run and uh, I did not. I did not do well with the gold, but I tried. There, four cost, that's a, a chilled one. And three cost, that's also a, a decent one. So that's given me a decent starting thing for chilled. Uh, so I've got three chilled cards now, and I'll want to get rid of the others, basically, if I can. A broken body is no excuse for inaction. Come so normally I'd be getting a blessing back. right now. I can't, I've just got Black Swan. And she will hurt me for every card I play. So I can't play frivolous cards, I need to play very carefully. Failure is just a new beginning. Ugh, not how I normally play at all. Normally I wouldn't get this because it's fire damage, but it does give a decent amount of mana and do a bit of damage, so it might actually be worth keeping. Bastard. He stood me up. Did you know <laughs> the tavern? Oh no. <laughs> Why is that not doing more damage? I thought they said it would do five times. Oh no, it's three times. Damn, I misread. Don't try and stop me. Oof. I'm not this is tough. Uh, for each spell card that has an even number of costs gained four mana. Uh, after I get rid of these, it's just going to be two, but for now, that is actually decent. And then we come to the pick a powerful card. So there's gain one mana for each two damage you deal by spell. That's not bad. That would remove the need for a lot of spell cards. Uh, there is... Suffer chilled. Uh, when they suffer chilled, deal one damage for each four mana cost you own. That's the one I think I'm going to be trying. And then there's get a random spell card for each two mana cards you play. That requires playing a lot of cards. Oh, I almost clicked then. Damn, that was close. Ice torch. Just to check. I yeah, I did get the ice torch. I'm really nervous about this run because I found the um the previous one much harder than I expected. Right, I'm just going to go for that one. It's not worth dealing one damage. Uh, Rising Tide and that one. So what's she, what did she have? Like, reduced damage, probably. Chill, Elemental, Ice Shield. Ooh. Alright, so that seems like that deals two damage. Oh, it does, it does say on there. So for each four mana cost you own. Is that four mana cost card or four mana cost... Because I've definitely got, I don't know, maybe it is four mana cost card. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh no, it's just four mana, like for each four total mana cost there is. So that's four, eight, and then 11. But now I've got that one, that ticks it over into uh, 16. Although I don't know if the exiled one will count. That's something I'm going to have to find out. Play that one to get rid of it, uh, gain mana, and then Ice Shield. I'm going to need a Blessing that heals me, because otherwise I don't think I will stand a chance. Oh, at least the um, the countered one doesn't hurt. That's good to know. I would, I really need, like, uh, the Vampire Codex or something. Something that will protect me. And the reason I'm going for the chilled stuff is because there are quite a few abilities that lean into the chilled. 
like, um, consume five chills and get an extra turn, etc. Oh god, I'm so close to losing already. I've got, I can play one card. Uh, that one? Of course, of course. Ooh, that was close. And then I healed a little bit. Take a blessing of greater card. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I'll go for that one. Because that increases it up to four and therefore makes it more powerful. The first two spell cards you draw cost zero. Uh, deal three damage, draw it. Oh, alright. Useless mushrooms. I've got to admit, I'm really, really nervous about this run. I don't feel confident. Oh, goody, he's immune. Maybe I should have gone for one of the other classes, like the um, the warrior who has more of a, a health bank. Whereas the uh, witch is a little bit flimsy. I've got plenty of mana so I don't need these. Mm. Oh, the poison. Ooh, got that. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to be very, very particular about what I play. I'll go for portal, because then that reduces the mana reliance. Show you a very interesting performance. Weird thing to say. How? How did you figure it out? What, that you're about to attack me? I didn't. I just attacking people is my default. Yeah, chilled is good for the uh, witch because it's great shielding. But it's still. Oh, when you don't have it, it's bad. All right. Oh, damn it. Dodged. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, that was awful. Figure it out. Hmm. Stop hitting me. Like, that's supposed to hit either him or me four times, and they always hit me. Stupid. And now I'm on such low health. Stop hitting me all the time! Duh, duh, duh. Oh, duh, duh. Awful. Awful. How did you figure it out? Mm. So I hit him a lot more and now he's almost dead. It's worth doing one damage to take taking one damage to deal one damage. There, I just got lucky with that. Uh, I'll go for the ice shield. I need to have as many mana cost cards in my thing as possible. Uh, transformer card. Let's go for the basic attack. Oh, that's that's not bad. I mean, that contributes. Maybe I don't need to go pure. No, I kind of do want to go pure chilling because every time I play a chilling card, I deal additional damage. Which is necessary. Although that is a good, that, that is a good attack. Oof! Oh, he's got penance. Damn. Uh. So does that stay? It does stay, even if they're exiled. That's good to know. Ooh. Nice. Oh. 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 No, I've lost. Damn. Yep. I didn't draw any chilling cards. I need to draw chilling cards every turn in order to, to get the most out of the ice torch. That's why I don't want stuff like the blazing... What's it called? Blazing charge? Yeah. Greed. For each one card you get, gain a health. Yeah. 
I need to be able to keep doing that, so I need to get rid of the uh, the spells and stuff that I have that don't contribute to this. And to be honest, I don't need these basic mana cards anymore, because I've got... Oh, come on! I've got good mana production now. Mana costs decrease by one during this combat. No, I don't want that. that I explicitly don't want that. And I don't want that either. Yeah, okay, I probably don't want any of those. I swore I would rescue eight children as penance. I shall look for the eighth tomorrow. Is it true that a stork won't raise suspicion no matter where they take a baby? That is a creepy thing to say, but so was the dialogue. What's the penance? I'm going to do a, a video at some point reading through all of the um, info on the characters. Uh, it did wipe all of my progress on that when I uh, lost my drives and stuff, so I'm having to... I'm going to have to replay the basic adventure a bit more to unlock the remainder of the ones I'm missing. Oh, maybe the Hurricane Staff was the, the way to go, gain a mana for each two damage. Because you could do some really good combos with that. Damn, he's got armor. Hmm. I feel like... I oh, wow, he stole my, he stole my useless card. Ha. <laughs> Yeah, I feel I'm not doing this right. I feel like I've gone about this the wrong way because I'm constantly out of health. Here to me for my sins. The thing is, this game has always been about um, like playing a load of cards. So having the ultimate challenge be lose one health for each card you play, that is so punishing. I genuinely don't know... Oh, come on. Seriously? I genuinely don't know how to deal with it. Because the Apothecary is all about, like... Imagine the Lightning Potion. The Lightning Potion, you play it, you generate three more cards. If you did that, you'd lose, like, 20 health a turn. And the Ranger is all about having loads and loads of cards and an overturn. So, maybe the Warrior is the only one who can beat the P Curse Purification. Oops, I didn't mean to go back to that. I kidnapped four children for them. That is my sin. Wait, before you said you, you your penance was kidnapping eight. Hmm. Is that still dealing six? Yeah. That's the only damage it actually dealt. I need to get that up, really. I need it to be stuff that helps. Yeah, the Hurricane Staff is really good with that... Um, that tornado spell, which is like, use up all of your mana and deal one damage per mana you use. But if you have the tornado staff, uh, you immediately get half your mana back. Yeah, I can't. I can't beat him. No way. Alright. Well, this was a failed attempt. Just a quick one. Um, I don't either think I'm editing out all of my fails or anything. Uh, clearly I'm not. But I will try again... I might go for the Hurricane Staff next time and see if that does better because this didn't work and uh, I don't know really where I went wrong. So if you have advice, you know, obviously no spoilers, but if you have advice for how best to deal with this, I would appreciate it because damn. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to see if I can prepare to do that, um, that lore reading thing next time. That uh, means I'm going to play a load of the adventure. Subscribe for that, subscribe for more board games, card games like this, miniatures and D&D, &D, and I will catch you later.